Hey guys, this is Matt from Jack is my co-pilot. Today I'm going to build my FPV ground station. Here's the TV I'm going to use. It's an old monitor from the headrest TVs. It just takes the video and audio input right here. I'm going to try to mount it right up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foam out. Then I'm going to flip this over and trace the back side. Just use a sharpie here to trace it. I'm actually going to use this razor blade to cut it out. As long as the knife's sharp, this cuts pretty easily. I'm just going to stick this foam back in and make sure this TV fits. I cut inside the lines because I want this to fit in there pretty snugly. Now i got the power and the video input down here. So I'm going to just cut a chunk of foam out so that these cables will run down. Even after cutting the piece out of the bottom, this fits pretty snugly still. So here we have the transmitter. It says the channel switches on this side here. You always want to make sure that you have the antenna on the transmitter before you turn it on. The antenna is a resistor and the transmitter is expecting that resistance. I'm also going to put the antenna on the receiver. And this camera also comes with its own wiring hardness, which is very nice. The transmitter, the camera, and the battery all have different types of connectors. I'm sure you can figure that out. To power the camera and the transmitter, I'm going to use this 3-cell 460 milliamp battery. I don't plan on flying this plane FPV anywhere other than out of my backyard, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the AC adapter that came with the TV, and I'm going to use another AC adapter that came off of one of my E-Flight chargers that has a 12-volt output for the receiver. Now this cable didn't come with this TV, so I'm going to have to use the right audio channel as the video. Now that probably won't be your case, but that's just the way that this cable is pinned out. So I'll go ahead and plug in the receiver, then connect the battery to the transmitter and the camera. Got to take off the lens cap here. Now here's the camera mount for the Bixler 2 that I got from Hobby King. Pretty simple, I just glued it together. Now if I mount the camera directly on here, it kind of touches the front lip here. So I want to raise it up with this extra piece of wood. So I just glued some scrap foam to this block here, and I made some cutouts for the wires and the components. Now what I'm going to try to do is just stick these on here and hold them on with a zip tie. I'm 
So I just zip tied the bottom here and put some rubber bands up top. I'm just going to glue this on here. I just used some super glue to glue this down here. And then I'm going to mount this canopy to the airplane with a big rubber band. And I put some Velcro on the back here and I'll mount the battery. It still leaves a nice little gap here for the rubber band. The last thing I did was riveted a strap on here so that I would hold the screen up without having to have anything behind it. Now before I put this on a plane, I want to test it. I strapped it to this Traxxas Stampede here. Now with this setup here driving inside, it's not going to give me a good idea on the range of this thing, but it's just a good basic check. I know that I'll lose radio signal from the truck before I'll lose video signal. I stuck my receiver up here on a tripod, hopefully to get a better signal. Again, I'm not really sure how this is going to respond inside the house, but Let's give it a shot. Now this camera is pretty dark in here. I'm hoping when I get it outside it'll brighten up. Maybe show a little more color. With this wide angle lens on here it's surprisingly easy to control. It gives me a good field of view. Uh, lost radio signal. Well, it doesn't have very good color. I do see it, but it's just not very good. I lost signal again. Probably doesn't like going through the garage. There we go. I'll try to go out the back door. The video is really shaky, but I only have it on that truck with a couple rubber bands. This is really fun. Oh, there we go. Let's get the dog. Ah. Oh. So there you go. I think the test went pretty good. Can't wait to try it out. Thanks for watching.